Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. Now in today's video we have something very, very practical for you. Yes, this is the energy shields. Now, what are energy shields you say? Well, imagine your blocks get damaged. Now imagine that they can't get damaged. Oh no, the energy shield stops your blocks from getting damaged so long as you have the power to recharge the shield. So the energy shield comes in four different parts so if I just get rid of my gun here we have the large energy shield of course it's able to withstand more damage and it has more expansion ports on it for you to add little add-ons on which I'll come to in a second and we have the small shield generator which have less ports on it and of course generates a much smaller shield so as for the add-ons we have the shield capacitor now this increases the strength of the shield per one of these you have now do note, if you put one of these onto a shield generator, it's going to take much, much more power to actually use. Now these two generators are turned off. Behind this little wall, I have a fully powered generator, fully upgraded, and all the way down there, I have a bunch of reactors that we'll come over to in just a second. Now over here, we have the shield flux coil. Now it doesn't cost that much, and it's identical to the shield capacitor. But this, instead of increasing the shield strength, increases the, well actually I should say, decreases the recharge on your shield. So the more damage you take, the quicker the shield is going to come back. Now as for the actual shields itself, now this is a fully upgraded one. All the slots on the right have the capacitor on it. All the ones on the left have the flux on it. So it's going to sit here and not take any damage whatsoever, no matter how much I shoot it with my elite rifle. Just going to quickly come around here just to show you in an actual icon. I do have a button set over there that's very unprofessional of me. So let's just open up this and go to this. So here we have the actual shield generator turned on. Productivity is 100. It means it's producing the shield. The effectiveness is the strength and the power efficiency is how much power it's actually using at the current time. There's all the upgrades on it. And below here is the important thing. Now the ship shield is um, affected by the capacitor. The more you have, the higher this number. This is the absolute maximum. And the recharge time is influenced by your flux coil. Of course, I've got the maximum, so it has a really, really fast recharge time. Now the effectivity is basically the shield strength. If I was to damage it with rockets, this the percentage would go down. And when it hits zero, the blocks can then start to take damage. Now all the way over here, it's just like a um, little thing I set up. It's nothing that important, but it's kind of to show you the actual range of this shield. Now, the shield works with in the way that any block that's connected to the actual shield generator will always have a shield no matter the distance. Now, I'm all the way over here, and if I was to shoot this little target that I made, it's got the shield, and there is no actual effects. There's no diminishing returns for having a really long way away. It just works as a shield as long as you have it over there. Of course, behind here, I have all the reactors charging it because it's very, very power hungry. You need at least five large reactors to charge a fully upgraded shield generator. So as they come along here, I can just shoot this all day. It's never going to break because the fully upgraded shield is fully protected against small arms, which is where I'm going to just spawn in a mech from my previous video. So here we go. Here comes a little mech. I'm hoping he's not going to fall down the cliff because this is at a small angle. Oh, please don't tip over. Thank you. And I'm also going to add a button. Doesn't have to be anything special. It just needs to be set up so we can actually read the shield. So after I've shot it, I can come over here. Just check it. As you can see, it's still at 100% efficiency. And I'm going to get in the mech and start shooting it. And I'm also going to bring in some rockets in here. And start shooting. I can see it is surviving bombardment. But I'm going to get out of it and actually see the efficiency of the shield right now. It's still at 100%. Yes, that's right. As long as you have the power, a fully upgraded shield can take a lot of rockets. Because it's simply recharging faster than I can deal damage. Now you can destroy one of these shields straight up. As you can see, I am directly hitting it. Because the shield generator itself doesn't have that strong a shield compared to what it's giving everything else around it. So if you do like bombard it with a lot of missiles, it will eventually give up. Now unfortunately, this little mech is not going to do the job on here. You can see it is just 
It's just doing nothing to my base. Even if I was to come over here and check the shield again, it's probably fully recharged already. You can see it's still at 100% efficiency. It is taking a lot more power, however, and the actual shield itself is still the same. So yeah, this is the shield mod. It'll be in the description below if you want to download it yourself. It is very useful, especially if you're building big ships or if you're building a base in a multiplayer game because it will protect you from a lot of crap. Now on ships, do be aware that the actual power these things take is enormous, so you will have to bear in mind how many reactors you are going to need to get this to work. A simple reactor with no upgrade, so if I come over here and simply type in shields, there we go, let's turn off the large shield generator and turn on the other one which is unupgraded. You'll be able to see now the red one is generating the shield, the blue one has been turned off. So I'm now shooting it. Okay, so it took some time to do, but the red shield has finally given up now and I'm able to destroy the blocks. Like so. So yeah, the actual red shield has now just turned off. I'm free to the destroy whatever I want in here. Yeah, the red shield in itself, well, there's actually no difference between red and blue. That's just the way I've colored it. The unupgraded shield itself it's okay for small arms. It won't protect you against a missile barrage. The small one as well is very, very, very weak. It'll be able to stop some basic rifles, but it is not going to protect you in the long run if someone just hammers you with their rifle. You will just burn out very quickly. The fully upgraded one, you're practically invincible unless you get hit by a major meteor shower or someone has came in with a massive ship with tons of missiles or multiple players are attacking you at once. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back with another Space Engineers video some point soon. Bye bye.